Yep, we are in the back of the van this time. And we're gonna introduce this, the Bluetti EB70 power bank. So as you can see, it's a big, it's a big one, like. This is not one you take up hills camping. This is purely van camping, campsites, big tent camping. But what I'll be using it for, if you can look at the surroundings, is to power this van. So what does it do? Well, I've got a fact sheet here. It's got a massive 716 WH capacity, 1000 watt rated, and it's got a 1400 watt surge, which means if you overload it with anything over 1400, It'll protect it, it won't blow up. Just uh, it just cuts out overload. It's got 2500 plus life cycles on the battery, so means you can recharge it 2500 times minimum. You recharge it either using um, the, the solar panel, which I don't have a solar panel for this. I have got a solar panel, I don't know if it will fit this. I'm gonna that's what I've got to try. It did come with the leads, which I'll put somewhere, oh, I can't find them. It's got the leads for the solar panel anyway, it's got the input um, lead, you know, the big battery pack. And it takes three to four hours to fully charge it with the solar panel. And three to four hours using the, uh, the input from your mains. 240s and if you use your 12 volt 12 volt in the car socket it takes about seven or eight hours and it does charge up from the, the car if you plug it into your car on a journey it's got the 12 volt socket there it has usb type c usb it's just a double click on cut off it's got two, 240 volts, and it has a very, very bright light, and it flashes. It's actually dazzling that, yeah, it flashes like that. So what we're going to do is plug a few things in, and we'll come back and see what power it outs, output and input. So here we go, right? We've got this light plugged in here to the C. It's what's the C plug, but that's in the USB. That is, um, that's the light I use in the back of the van. It's really bright. This remote control, look how bright that is. And that's charging that up anyway. And I'm charging the laptop. Just notching a bit of Ip Man charging there. <clears throat> and it's drawing. Oh dear. It's not drawing a lot, is it? When I plugged it in, um, it charged it up. It took. Pff, it says three to four hours. It was done within two. So that's not so bad. So 52 watts is the output. And I don't expect that to move. Plug so much more into it. Probably have another another laptop in if you've got one. A light. Um, you could have your any 12 volt in there. I'm planning to run some lights around the inside of the van and plug them into the 12 volt or the USB. It's got 12 volt 10 amp there. It's for your rechargeable like um oh what what's rechargeable plugs in there? Like shaver plugs in that for charging up your shaver. And then two of them, 100 watt little C-type charger plugs. I can't show you at the minute because I'm filming with the phone, but if you sit it on there, it's got wireless charging. Yes, that is a good idea. That's really good. That's so handy. Just sit your phone on it and you're off, charging it up. Yeah. So it's very good. I think I'll let this run for a while. I'm going to watch Ip Man. 
and then I'll come back and we'll see how much power it's used. See if these bars have gone down. I really don't think they would have done. Plugged some more stuff in. Output is 87. This is my um, charger for the drill. So I've got the charger, the laptop, which I've been using, and the light. And it's drawn 81. It's dropped down 80%. It's took a few hours though. I just finished watching this. Well, I watched it. See, it just cuts, it just changes up and down. So now, plugged in the GoPro battery. Let's just charge that. That's the Enduro battery. That takes ages to charge up. I went in and came back out. 87, still on 80%. I've had the phone sat on there as well, but obviously you can't film that bit. Should have another phone, shouldn't I? It was working though. And just watching another series here, just the start of that, Carnival Row. So this this output in watts, 87 watts output. I think that'll do that all day, all day, every day of that. And it'll, it'll power everything you need. This is the second battery I'm charging. Um, that's still charging up, because I've been watching it, obviously. Not sure where it's on now. It's there. Uh, I mean, it's a big, it's heavy. I give it that. But that's what you want, isn't it? You don't want it moving around. It's got the fans on the side. So it doesn't overheat. That's the fan there. It sits on rubber legs, uh, feet, rubber feet. If you take a, a motorhome or a caravan, or even a big tent, be ideal that, keep you going and power all your devices, probably more. If I had a TV out here, I would plug it in, because I'm sure it would power a big telly. is nice like loads of functions loads of power no input because I haven't got anything plugged into it the inputs when you put the solar panel in or you um, plug it in from the mains 240 but yeah I'm mightily impressed with this I was impressed with uh, a similar device I think this tops it. This tops it. There's going to be links, discount links, all the rest of it in the descriptions. So if you're in the market for one of these, I'd highly recommend it. And they don't just do this grip big one. They do a huge range to suit most needs. Smaller ones. I think there's a bigger one. And some of them have got Bluetooth so you can control them from your phone. This one doesn't have Bluetooth. Hey. Very impressive. Bluetti EB70. Good. I'll be going away on holiday this week, so I'll be using it. I'll get it fully charged up, take it away for the week, and when we'll come back, we'll see what it's on. See if it lasts. Should do. I've also got the option, if it doesn't, We've got the charger in the car for your 12 volt. So you plug it in. Either plug it in there with your car charger. And that'll charge it up as you drive. So that's the crack. I turned it off. Yep. I'm just waiting for this to charge up because I need to use the drill. Yeah, so here I am, just casually sitting. Uh, I'll turn a few things off. 35 watts output now. That's charged up. Still on 80%. That's not like. Right. 
so that's it blue eddy eb70 the um the links will be in the description there'll be a discount code and i tell you what right rather than hardwire your van that's what you want then you can just you can just plug anything into it anything you want you can plug into that it won't it won't power a kettle or a toaster nothing like that none of them high voltage things but you know you've got your little stove you'll have your stove for your gas cooking and that but for anything electrical like you charging up your laptop lights gopro gopro drone loads of things anything you want anything you want to charge up it'll do it that's 44 now because this is done i'll take that out that's up to 35 GoPro battery's done. Take that out. 30. The light's not charging up. Just charging the laptop now. So that's it. We go and check it out. Really, definitely something worth considering if you've got a camper van. Or if you want to just take a lot of power on uh, camping trips. Summer's coming up. Let's get ready.